The De La Salle Christian Brothers International Institute includes works from around the world. In South America, the works are extensive and varied. Here are just a few examples. In Argentina, two schools exemplify the works of the brothers. In downtown Buenos Aires, Colegio La Salle is a modern urban school serving children from all walks of life. One of the most Lasallian programs within Colegio La Salle serves mentally disabled children from the Buenos Aires area. In Gonzales Catan, a desperately poor area near Buenos Aires, the brothers operate the St. Thomas Aquinas School. The children here are drawn from the surrounding barrios. The entire community supports this wonderful school. Here, parents tend the communal garden, which supplies needed nutrition for the children. In addition to the main school, a separate building houses the kindergarten. In La Paz, Bolivia, Radio San Gabriel serves the local Aymara Indian population throughout Central South America with news and cultural programming and can be heard 16 hours a day, up to a thousand miles away. Radio San Gabriel also has its own video production facility for educational and cultural programming. Currently under construction is a new facility for SAD, S-A-A-D, literally the Distance Learning Center for Adults, which has been in operation since 1986. This project administers education for local Aymara Indians by radio, then sends professors to the local communities to conduct tests and award educational certificates. In Santa Cruz, Bolivia, the brothers operate the Instituto Jose Mercad Aguado. The Instituto Aguado is a boarding school for 150 poor, destitute, often orphaned boys from 12 to 18 years old. They are trained in various crafts, enabling them to find work after graduation. The works of the brothers and partners in Brazil comprises a large number of wonderful schools and other works throughout the country. Here in Porto Alegre in southern Brazil are typical examples of the brothers' works throughout their district. The Pau dos Pobres de San Antonio School conducts numerous classes and contains an orphanage for over 200 boys who are trained in a wide range of professions, from automotive repair to printing, carpentry, computers, electrical, welding, and even optometry. There are also evening classes for adults to assist them in improving their economic condition. Many of the brothers' schools are small yet impressive examples of true Lasallian education. The Lasalle Esmeralda School, very near Porto Alegre, works with those most in need. Many of them have uh, broken families. So it's a kind of a hard life. The parents don't have a job, they don't have education, and uh, some of kids uh, are in the same way. So the challenge of the school is to, to change this way, to give hope, to give uh, courage, and uh, maybe to show a way of life. They need love. They need a smile, they need someone to talk with. I mean, uh, uh, other people, uh, they can get by themselves a lot of things. But for poor people, poor people it's uh, harder to live. In Pelotas, Brazil, the brothers operate the Hippolito Laite School. Twice a day, students are accompanied by their parents as they cross this small bridge from the nearby favela, or slum, which borders the school. The courses offered here provide a Lasallian education to over 1,000 of the poorest children and adults of the area. Only a few miles away is the Dunas area of Pelotas. In the very heart of this very poor area, the brothers have purchased land in hopes of building yet another school so desperately needed by the marginalized poor of this community. At the Escola Tricentenario La Salle, built in 1951 on the 300th anniversary of the founder's birth, there is a community of postulants, all of whom serve as teachers at this large, successful school. 
As throughout the Lasallian world, the close relationship between those who have been called to teach and their students is evident. In the center of a desolate barrio near Lima, Peru, named Zapayao, sits one of the most inspiring schools in South America. It is simply known as Fe y Alegría School No. 43, which translates as Faith and Happiness. It is one of many schools built by the Jesuits in Peru, and it is now operated by the De La Salle Christian Brothers. This school serves as a center of both employment and culture for the entire area. There are, of course, classes in mathematics, reading, writing, Spanish, and so forth. However, there are also shops in which local women and men learn practical skills, such as sewing, ceramics, carpentry, and metalworking. There is even an extensive hydroponic garden where much of the food for the school cafeteria is grown. And egg production provides nourishment and additional income. This area along the coast of Peru is completely arid. All water for the surrounding barrios must be brought in by truck. This reality means that irrigating the large hillside tree farm operated by the school must be done in the most labor-intensive of ways.